Today we're making Rocky Road ice cream. It's super easy, doesn't even involve any cooking. You do need to be a bit prepared for this because it does have to be froze ahead of time. Of course it is ice cream after all. So to get started, I need 250 mils of double cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I need 150 grams of sweetened condensed milk. So that's half a can. Just give a quick whisk together until you'll have the consistency of whipped double cream. So as you can see the consistency there is just like whipped cream and this is the base for my ice cream cake. I can set that aside for the moment where I get on with some of the rocky part. I have 50 grams of cold dark chocolate here and I'm going to just chop that very finely. You can grate it as well. I just put it into the freezer while I'm whipping my cream in that so that it's nice and firm and doesn't melt just as I'm trying to chop it. Scrape that chocolate in. Then I want the same weight of glassy cherries. Then I want to add 50 grams of marshmallows. 100 grams of crushed meringues. What I love about the meringues and the marshmallow is that they don't freeze. No matter how long it's in the freezer for, these just simply won't freeze solid. A quick fold together. This is the most difficult part, trying not to spill it everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put it into a loaf tin to freeze. And just to make it easy to lift out, I'm going to line the loaf tin with cling film. Make sure to leave plenty of overhang so you have enough to cover the top or what will be eventually the base <laughs> of our cake. Smooth the base. Don't be ashamed to waste this. It is very sweet at this stage, but ice cream should be because it sort of numbs the flavor because it's eaten so cold. All I have to do now is fold over my overhang and freeze until it's set at least four hours. And that's it. To make the chocolate sauce, break 50 grams of good quality dark chocolate and 50 grams of milk chocolate into a saucepan along with 150 ml of double cream and 25 grams of butter. Stir together over a low heat until melted then pour into a jug to cool. I hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a go.
and please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. So good.